Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 2. What is JavaScript? That's coming up. <laughs> Alright, so JavaScript is one of the three core languages of websites. Now, the first one is HTML. We've already seen that. It controls the structure of your web page via HTML tags. The second one is CSS. And this is more to do with the presentation and design of your website. So you can change colors or change the layout of your HTML in CSS. And the third one is JavaScript. And JavaScript is responsible for adding additional behavior and interactivity to your website to make it more interesting. So say, for example, you had a website with a gallery on. And in that gallery, you want users to be able to click to zoom in and out of your uh, images. If you wanted to do that, then you, my friends, would probably need JavaScript to do it. Now, JavaScript is a scripting language, and many programmers will just disregard it as a scripting language, not a programming language. And by that, they mean it's intentionally limited. It doesn't have the same features as other programming languages, such as C Sharp, C++, or Java, in that it can't communicate with databases directly, or file systems on a computer, among other things. However, its intended purpose was to add interactivity and to manipulate web pages. And for that, my friends, it's magnificent. Now, JavaScript is a client side language. And essentially what that means is that it runs on your computer in your browser. OK, so when you type in a URL into your browser that communicates with a server, it gets the information from the server, which brings it back to your computer in the browser and displays it to you in the form of a web page. And that, my friends, is a combination of HTML, CSS and probably JavaScript. So all of those three run on your browser, on your computer. That's what it's meant by a client side language. This is different from other programming languages such as Ruby on Rails, PHP and ASP.NET. They all run on a server. So if you go to a website running one of these technologies, you'll type in the URL, communicate with the server. The code will run on the server and then send the results of that code to your web browser where it's displayed in a web page. So JavaScript is client side. Other programming languages are server side. I would say also not to rely on JavaScript to add functionality to your website. Now, imagine you had a website and it sold items online. If you were to add some kind of behavior to that website, which relied on JavaScript, for example, a user couldn't add an item to their shopping basket without JavaScript enabled, then that website is not very good. You want to make a website that's going to be accessible to everyone, regardless of whether they're using JavaScript or not. So make it without JavaScript first, make sure it runs completely fine on its own, and then add JavaScript to it to give it that magic touch and the added interactivity. And finally, I'm going to say this, JavaScript is not and has nothing to do with Java. Java is a completely separate language and JavaScript is just a name that was given to it while Java was really popular. So they jumped on that bandwagon. The official name for JavaScript is ECMAScript, but we all refer to it as JavaScript. So that's about it for this introduction to JavaScript. I hope now you've got a broad view of what it is and what it can do. Uh, in the next lesson, we're going to start using it to create our first JavaScript program. I'll see you guys then.